hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be chatting with you guys all about adulting being an adult what i didn't tell you about being an adult this whole trap because this is like a trap okay like it's, this shit is crazy um i know i have a lot of you young girls who watch my videos and so i just kind of want to come on here and be a little bit transparent about my journey um when i was living with my parents I remember I was like probably like 16 17 years old even when I turned 18 you know I thought I was grown and I wanted to just basically I was just so ready to leave my parents house like I was just like oh my god I cannot wait until I'm like 21 or 18 or whatever to leave my my parents house oh I'm so tired of them telling me what to do you know like I feel like every teenager goes through those things you know what I'm saying like come on I'm sure you have thought about that as well and so um that's when of course i got married and of course i my life just changed i became an adult at a very young age i was basically 19 and i just like boom i left my parents house you know moved to my first apartment you know the bills became part of my life and i had no idea what i was doing to be honest i was just like okay i got a job and i'm gonna go ahead and just pay my bills you know but i didn't have like a structure on how to actually go by that i was just going with the flow getting paid um every two weeks at the time no I, I was getting paid every week so i was getting paid every week and just basically paying you know my bills as i went and that was bad because i didn't have a structure so i was just going with the flow and i didn't know what i was doing so i'm here to tell you that if you're really really ready to leave out your parents house and just don't do it sis just just don't do it try to wait you know what i'm saying be patient calm down time is gonna come you know what i'm saying don't rush live your life have it work but save your money don't do what i did okay because i'm not even gonna lie i'm not gonna come here in front that i have my life all together because i don't have it all together however what me being young and um having all those you know all those responsibilities i didn't know what to do and with that came a lot of like bad decisions i you know i did a lot of purchases that i did not supposed to um you're gonna get a lot of those mails offering you credit cards um don't do it okay if you know that you're not good with money don't do it because that's a trap okay I know for me it did not work out I thought it was free money I didn't even know what a credit card was when I was in high school they didn't talk about credit cards you know like my parents really didn't really like tell me about credit cards I didn't know the difference about none of that so of course I'm like thinking it's free money um they were kind of like explaining to me what it was but I'm not really paying attention to what it was I'm just I just know that I'm about to have money on my you know my card and I can go and spend it so that's what i did i went and spent a lot of money i continued to get credit cards and i basically did the, the wrong thing i didn't know how to actually you know have a credit card how to actually work it anyways with that being said you yeah, already know what happened bills got i mean i'm sorry like credit cards got maxed out I couldn't pay the damn credit cards okay so with that became an issue and I was like no way I gotta pay all this money back and of course I already have bills you know what I'm saying so that came that became another issue so then I had to pay off those try to pay off those, those credit cards and it was just a mess okay so I know that in high school no they don't teach these things you know what I'm saying to, to teenagers they don't tell you how to properly you know about taxes they don't even tell you about credit cards they don't say anything about none of those things that you're actually gonna need in the real world that's why i'm not a really fan of i'm not a real fan of school because i just feel like it's a business i don't think they, they, they don't teach you the things that you need in real life like you don't need to be doing all this science shit. you're not even gonna like do this you know actually need this in real life unless you're wanting to be a doctor or something you know what i mean um anywho <laughs> um
adulting is not easy you have to be really responsible um, my advice to you is to just go ahead and wait be patient while you're living with your parents and if you have a job save your money stack up on some good money um, that way once you move out you have money in the bank if anything happens you have a good amount of money saved already and you're not gonna be struggling you know what I'm saying it's really really hard out here bills don't stop coming they don't care if you have a job or you don't have a job they're gonna keep calling you every single day for you to pay that damn phone bill or that car note um, they're gonna do whatever it takes for them to get their money back you know what I'm saying and you don't want to go through those things so my best advice for you is to just wait and not wait. why not just enjoy your teen, teenage years you know what I'm saying go out with your friends have fun don't rush don't rush life I honestly feel like I kind of did rush my life a little bit my mom is probably watching this and she's gonna be like mm-hmm but it's the truth you know what I mean I feel like if I would have listened to my parents when they were telling me the right thing to do you know my life probably would have been a lot different I'm not saying that I regret everything that I've been through however a lot of times we don't listen to our parents and we just want to go ahead and do what we think is best and now that I'm older I'm like you know what I should have listened to my parents so I don't want you out there to go through the same thing that I did because you know I want all of us to grow and you know be successful without having to go through all these struggles and I know not everybody's gonna listen to my advice and I get it because you're gonna do what you want to do but it's just I know at least somebody's gonna listen I hope somebody listens you know and, and just um take advantage of the free advice that basically us you know influencers youtubers get get on here and try to share our story with you guys because honestly we don't have to do this but we do it anyway and I do it because I have a passion for this and I really really wouldn't like for you know everybody else to go out there and struggle because it's not easy it's tough um a lot of times you're on your own and you have to find a way to make things happen and it's just hard as an adult to do, to do all of those things so I know a few guys if you're watching this you probably can relate to my story um, I I just wish I could have done a lot of things differently um, I wish I could have saved more money before I left my parents house I wish I could have done a lot, a lot of those things because I'm just going with the flow you know what I'm saying and thank God thank God I'm still young thank God I'm only 23 years old so I still have time to you know get better and like even like get better at my decisions because I feel like everything that I've been through right now I did it while I was younger so now that I'm a little you know I'm like 23 so I still have time to get my life together because a lot of folks go through this they get to their 40s 30s and they're still struggling with the things you know like credit card um, issues all these things you know financial issues that at least I still have time to fix my shit <laughs> you know what I mean but again just wait to be patient adults and it's not fun it's not fun y'all it's not fun it's just not it's fun because of course you get to do your own thing and you know you don't have to ask somebody for permission however it's not fun when you go out there to the real world you're not prepared for it and you just go and make you know make the wrong decision so don't do it sis um Another tip that I will give you guys is, aside from saving, I will definitely say to um, have a plan and stick to your plan and don't let anyone distract you from that because a lot of times when you fall in love or you have friends, negative friends around your circle or around you, you know, you get distracted easily by what they're doing. So you kind of like want to do what they're doing as well. So if you have a plan, go ahead and stick to it. Focus on it. Not learn how to say no. Okay. You have to learn how to say no. And you have to basically know. Just stay focused on the things that you want to do in order for you to accomplish them. Cool. So stop trying to finance everything and try to just save your money and buy it. You know, do solo just get it don't stop that don't be financing everything because that way you're gonna have a lot of more bills on you you think it's gonna be easier for you to pay but then eventually it's gonna be harder for you to pay it off get it just 
you just get it out the way it's yours you own it can't nobody take it away from you and that's it that's one of the biggest lessons that i've learned and i said you know what from now on i don't even want to have a car note like my next car is probably going to be cash because i'm i don't like making payments on things you know it's just very frustrating sometimes i don't even want to like i just want the money for myself and it's just easier you know you just don't have to worry about that payment so try not to finance also i'm going to say this you have to try to sleep you guys it sounds really crazy but you have to try to sleep at least seven to eight hours oops my sexy me try to sleep seven to eight hours because you have to get up the next day and go to work and believe it or not when you get your full like your full hours of sleep your next day is like so smooth you get things done faster you're not really dragging and you feel better about yourself about getting things done i remember when i was at my previous job there were times where i would be up you know for no reason or probably just editing pictures videos or like trying to write something and the next day i would be at work dragging not in the mood you know like just annoyed and you don't want to do that part of being an adult is you have to basically take care of yourself as a person for you to get up every day and you know get the job done so i would definitely suggest you to take you know try to go to sleep and you know that's gonna help you a lot um also try to spend less money than what you earn try to have a budget budgeting is so so important um especially if you live by yourself try to budget because everything is on your own and you don't have that support you know what i'm saying for you to live so budgeting is very important try to write things down the full expenses of the whole month and you'll be fine um i know i had to learn how to budget because at the beginning when i first left my parents house i was not budgeting i was just like spending money like crazy and then of course i'll be broke and um you don't want to do that you know it, it's very important to budget this might sound very very crazy and like crazy but do not let other people or your parents tell you what to do okay you have to learn how to make your own decisions you have to be an adult and you have to say well do what's best for you of course when your parents come and give you advice you know as the grown and as, as an adult you know what's gonna work for you and don't of course listen to your parents you know what i'm saying because of course our parents are not always going to be right especially um when it comes to whatever situation you're in they might not know exactly what you're going through or whatever but you have to do what's best for you and of course if you feel like your parents are giving you good advice take their advice most most of the time our parents are correct don't be like me who didn't listen at the beginning but um you just have to know how to make the right decision for you because if you always always listening to your parents you're not gonna know how to make your own decisions and you're gonna always struggle and wanting to you know what I mean they're gonna basically direct your life because you're not making your own decisions so you kind of have to know how to balance that out for you to um, you know just be good out there in the world the last one not least you guys just basically do get things done like do what needs to be done get it out the way don't wait until the last minute to do it procrastination is the motherfucker, and I'm still working on it too because I can procrastinate sometimes like I've been procrastinating on doing this this video um since last week but I'm, i got it done I'm, <laughs> i got it done however sometimes when you get a lot of, when you get busy and you got a lot of things going on you kind of like get sidetracked and i like to come on here and just do things when i'm in a great mood when i'm good and ready to do it so um that was really it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and hope hopefully you guys got some good tips out of here if you did make to make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'm going to see you guys on my next video. Best of us. Bye-bye.